Hey guys, Dr. Stetson. I uh, just want to take you behind the scenes at how we analyze the cervical x-ray. Okay, there are four things that we look at when we're looking at the side view of the neck. So what you're going to notice is our sample x-ray on the right and then a, patient, a gentleman that came in with neck pain on the left. You'll notice in the sample x-ray, one of the major features we look at is the overall curvature of the spine. So when you're looking at the side presentation, it shouldn't be vertical and straight. It should actually have this arc. Ideal position being 45 degrees. This person measured 45 out of 45. Over here, you'll notice this person has straightened out. The measurement that we got was 8 out of 45. The second feature that we look at is forward head posture. Forward head posture measures how far the person's head has moved the wrong direction, which would be forward. We want the position of his, of his head right over top of the C4, C5 joint. You'll notice in our sample, it's at zero position, right over top. In this, this gentleman has a 45 millimeter forward head posture. This is important because it puts a lot of strain on the back of the neck, where a lot of times people will have tight shoulder muscles and tight neck muscles because of that position. The third thing that we look at is how well the skull sits on top of the actual spine. So we have these two lines. We want them to be parallel. This one's actually in a great position. This one's stuck in extension. You want them to be both equally positioned, nice open gap back here. The last thing that we're gonna look at is the spacing in between the joints, which most people are familiar with disc tissue. Um, the actual bone being the white, the black space being the disc. They should be nice and equal like you see here, here, here. But in this gentleman, you'll notice that it starts to thin out right there and right there. And we do notice some degeneration or bony change. These would be bone spurs starting to develop in this individual.